Professor Kingsley Mugalu, a former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, says trust, social justice, and national identity are needed to build a successful nation. He made this known at a national social cohesion dialogue organized by Africa Polin Institute in Abuja. The event also featured the unveiling of the 2022 Nigeria Social Cohesion Survey report carried out by the Institute with support from Ford Foundation. Mogalu, who was the keynote speaker at the event, said that for the country to have a more socially cohesive society, there was an urgent need to put an end to factors that divide along ethnic, religious and political lines. If we don't have a society that is cohesive, where we all pull together, we feel value, we feel a sense of belonging, we feel that there's a sense of social justice, a community in which we trust one another, and we have uh, a sense of patriotism and investment in that community, then all the efforts that the government or all of us are making um, for what we consider to be progress is actually then built on nothingness. And you cannot build something on nothing. Without social cohesion, as I have said, we labor in vain. And so, because who are you laboring for? What is your labor about? If the society that you're supposed to be governing, or we are all supposed to be members of, is so uh, fractured. So, social cohesion is really something that we need to begin to take seriously. Although all of us are responsible uh, for how our community is, but the bigger responsibility is with the government to organize the society, you know, um, to deliver services, to give people a sense of justice, work, fairness, avoid exclusion and marginalization. We've heard about the whole question of gender equity in this report. Uh, uh, we've had, you know, issues of marginalization um, in different parts of the country, people who want to break away and things like that. The government should understand that it has a responsibility to engage in difficult conversations that build our society into one in which we all agree and are happy to be part of. For his part, Professor Bell Ihua, Executive Director, API, said the survey was carried out to get credible and scientific data to stimulate constructive policy dialogue to address several issues in the country. The concept of social cohesion is looking at uh, Nigeria's unity, um, looking at Nigeria's togetherness, looking at Nigeria's, uh, the ability of Nigerians to have a sense of belonging. For Nigeria to move forward and for any country to move forward, data for planning, data for decision making is very important. And so far in the past few years, we have helped to bridge the gap in citizens' data, providing accurate data um, to help not just government, but also advocates, practitioners, and the development community in having accurate data about Nigeria, especially from the citizens' perspective. Similarly, Mr. Soji Adini, a board member of API, added that Nigerians should prioritize competence to foster good governance and create a sense of belonging for all. The challenges that we have today is as a result of lack of cohesion. Ask the ordinary man on the street if he or she feels like a Nigerian today, you will see that more than seven out of ten will probably feel isolated. Why are they feeling isolated? It is because the context of Nigerianism has not been absorbed by any one of us. We must first see ourselves as Nigerians and then we ask the question where are you originally from? Because we shouldn't be able to dis distinguish ourselves on the basis of being a Fulani Yoruba, Hausa Hippo. We have 250 ethnic nationalities. How do we pass that round if we were to, you know, find what we call a portfolio of, of leadership? So the, the context of our existence can only be on competence. And I stand without fear or favor to say that until we recognize the fact that the very competent person may not be from the largest group in the, in, in the space. So if we're thinking in terms of making Nigeria one and taking us to the promised land, we have to begin to think competence.